Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today we are talking about many of y'all's favorite, the Green Mile. Yeah. Okay, um, I'll let you know right off the bat, um, even my wife is going to disagree with me on this, but I'm not a huge fan of the Green Mile, period. Um, I don't like the movie. She's back there giving me the evil eye. I don't care too much for the movie, and I don't care too much for uh, the book. I think that the Shawshank Redemption is a much better prison story. Um, I also don't like, the, there's a lot of concepts in the Green Mile that are reused, and the whole thing feels forced to me. The entire plot, the whole premise, and everything. You know how some movies are made just so that they can, like, be put up for an Oscar? That's the whole reason, is to get that person an Oscar. I think The Green Mile is another one of those books that Stephen King did just to legitimize himself, to say, okay... I can do this kind of thing and make it good. Is it a good story? Yeah, fine, it's great. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't care too much for it. I think he's tackled all of the aspects that he talks about in this one. The uh, the innocent man, the, all, all that stuff. He's tackled that much better in other books. That's my opinion, of course. Um, I did some digging along with uh, my own theory here. And yeah, it's going to be a theory because I don't have a hard connect for this. Um, my theory, of course, is if you've been watching the Castle Talk uh, series, we were talking about the touch that Nick, <laughs> Nicholas Cage, it still makes me chuckle every time I think about his name, the, the touch that Nick has, the powers of touch, um, and uh, what's her name, Molly has the power of touch, uh, Johnny, John Smith, Johnny Smith from the Dead Zone had the power of touch, there's a lot of stuff that in Stephen, the Stephen King universe that has to do with touch, but most importantly, Ted Brodigan was a breaker, and he had the power to touch and to pass on um, and to heal and do things like that, and I believe that John Coffey is a breaker. He was just stuck here, and of course he ends up, spoiler alert, <laughs> he ends up dying, um, so he never got a chance to either be picked up or to go over or move over or whatever. Um, so I think John Coffey is a breaker. That's my theory anyways. Um, as far as some fan theories that I thought were actually rather interesting, um, if you go to the fan connections, there's a really, really interesting fan connection for this one that has to do with, um, the directions of things, because Ka is a wheel, and that wheel has directions like a compass. Um, so there's a very interesting fan theory. I'm not going to go over it because I don't want to take credit for you for it, but I will leave a link down in the doobly-doo for you guys to go read it yourself. I thought it was a fascinating idea, and of course it's a fan theory, so I had fun with it. But when things are plausible, I love giving them credit, and they're, they might have a point with this one. Um, they said it was uh, Stephen King... Stephen King's undermind, you know, his, the mind under the actual mind, maybe, maybe connected these things that way. Another thing is, there is a mention of the number 19 in here, and we all know the number 19, tie, anything that 19 ties back to the Dark Tower series, um, and it's when uh, Brutal is asked a question uh, by, one of, some, by somebody, and he says, I'm just going by regulation 19. So, um, I'm sure you guys are going to let me know. You're probably already typing your comment about how wrong I am about the Green Mile, and that's great. Please fill up the, the, the comment section with how wrong I am about the book. Please tell me why you love it. If you don't like it, I'd love to hear from you and find out why you personally do not like it. I got dust and everything floating around here because this book stays on the shelf. <laughs> I usually go audiobook with this one, um, just because I don't care too much for it. And yes, I do have the first editions. The first editions of this one are not hardcover. They are these little, um, well, I guess I could pull one down. They are these little things, these little chat books almost, that were sold. Um, we got ours at a grocery store in California at a Lucky's. Every single month we picked up a new one. They were like a buck or something. Maybe they were, oh, they were $3. Dang, but yeah, these are these are the first edition. They are in crap shape. In fact, this one you can see all the way through the. You can see all the way. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this one has a hole through it, almost as if the mouse has eaten through. And then never mind, never mind. We're not gonna go there. That is not going to go back in there. I don't think. Yes, it will. Okay. So, anyhow, let me know your own connections if you have any please go check out that fan theory because i don't remember it and i don't want to steal their thunder so please go check out their fan theory while i'm waving off the dust but until next time i have been e you've been you this has been another thursday theorist review i'll talk to you guys later